purpose behind Wine Notes remains the same. The whole objective being to demystify, simplify for the readers how to walk into a store and pick a wine which they may not know very much about. This time, the effort was to focus on Indian wine. Indian wines have come a long, long way. It's a very heartening thing and we thought that our readers in India should be part of this growth. And also they should be able to identify the different types of wines that are available. So here we have a tasting table. We picked a few of the Indian reserves we felt the readers would enjoy. I think it's good value. Yeah. This is a special cuvee. I enjoyed some of the pairings and some of the wines themselves. Sometimes in a pleasant way and sometimes not so pleasant. In terms of my favorite pairing for the evening, I would think the Charosa. And I think at the end of the evening, I came away with a new understanding of what's happening in the wine business today in India. This is the Trinity. And you can easily drink. Nice color. And it looks like it's Sangiovese Dominic. It was a great experience and I was very happy that I was able to sample so many good reserves today. The wines that I really liked was the Sula Rasa. I would drink this wine both as an aperitif and along with a meal. The other one that I really liked was Fratelli Sete. And uh, I'm also very proud to know that we have such great reserves uh, in India at affordable prices. The Grover La Reserve. If I was having a barbecue party and I wanted to choose one of these four, then I would rather pick the La Reserve right now. India's first celebrity wine. You know, they have a lot of celebrity wines everywhere internationally, but this is India's special. But I find the Thailands are very harsh in this. They're very. Yeah. Thailand is strong. It's American oak. The York. The York. That's why you were saying it's sweet, sweet. Yeah. Now it's vanilla. The vanilla is very clear. It's American oak. It's been a great session and it's, it's quite interesting how Indian wines are evolving. One of my favourites still uh, would be the Big Banyan 100% Limited Shiraz and uh, the uh, Charosa which is a 100% Tempranillo. I think India has a lot to offer for international market and compete with the wines there. The Sula Rasa Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. One year in oak and then bottle aged. You know, for, for me, when I drink this wine, I feel like home. Yeah, yeah. So nice you would kind of do like the whole lunch with this wine. Yeah, I think this is a great wine to kind of just put for dinner. You know, and you carry this to your dinner table. If you taste the rasa now, you'll find that the rasa has almost failed in character after drinking this. I was very happy to take uh, part of this uh, wine tasting. Because the theme of the day was uh, testing in Indian wines, and I like Indian wines. Uh, sometimes the perception is imported wine is much better than, but uh, uh, we in Shangri-La here, we believe in Indian wine. I believe Indian wine is a, is a great, great future. My favorite was uh, the, the Charosa one, which I never got a chance to taste before, uh, which I find the international taste. A limited, which was an exceptional red. The tree actually was very, very interesting as well. As food lovers, we've been pursuing wine for years now. I think it's really heartening to see the progress that Indian wines have made. You know, from the time that we had four or five or six wines that we could look at, we can now look at a table of 10 or 11 special QAs. And of course, this doesn't represent all the special QAs that the country has to offer. Whether it was a single varietal, whether it was a blend, I think each one of them had a unique style and they had a story to tell. So I think this issue of food lovers is going to be a special treat for wine lovers because you've got some of the best QAs that you have that are out there in the wine stores waiting for you to savor.